Hello, and welcome back to another edition of Cash Game Cornerstones for MLB. <laughs> it's Tuesday, May 10th. I'm Steve Repsol. This is Slurve. Uh, boy, I had a really interesting weather day yesterday. Huh? That I hope it didn't rain on any of your parades. Um, you know, it made things really tricky with uh, the top top pitching option in, in Leicester not getting on the mound. And I hate to break it to you, but let me be the first to tell you today is not much better. Um, Lester, it looks like will get on the mound today, but that is a situation that's that's in flux. The weather is still not great in Chicago, but um, it's sort of expected to dry out before first pitch. So hopefully they will wait that out and not postpone it early. But if they do, it should be early. Um, but the real weather concerns for today, there's three games that I'm, I'm really concerned about. Um, and they're games that I like, and that's the White Sox against Texas, um, Detroit uh, against Washington, and Pittsburgh versus Cincinnati. So the only one that I have a pitcher in that I'm concerned about is the Detroit and Washington game. The rest is just the batters. Um, on that note, let's talk about pitchers for today. I already mentioned uh, John Lester. If, if he's up there on the mound against the Padres and the weather looks like it's going to hold out all right, then he's by far my top option. Um, also, a guy, oh, oh, talk about his price, 12.2 on DK, 11.0 on FanDuel, um, you know, a nice little discount there on FanDuel, but that just seems to be kind of the theme uh, right now. Prices on the sites are kind of really splitting. Um, they, they were much closer in relative value earlier in the year. Now FanDuel seems to be getting kind of cheap and and DK seems to be holding out more normal reasonable average prices um, so definitely a discount there uh, on on Lester um, and <laughs> I said this yesterday that I was gonna lock Strasburg into my cash line on FanDuel and I didn't and I went with Kluber and it was like a 40 point swing and I'm still kind of tilted about that but today if the game is gonna play uh, in my cash lineup I really like John Lester um, and then for, for an SP2 on DK, or even even on FanDuel, you know, if, if, well, see, I don't think you need him because the bats are so cheap. But if you do, um, Adam Conley against Milwaukee, I'm really excited about him today, actually. Um, you know, this is the first day in a while that I feel kind of good not paying all the way up for pitcher. Um, you know, I, I don't recommend fading John Lester in your cash games, but... It's not the worst idea I've ever heard, but there's definitely cheap, uh, cheaper um, SP2s that you can pair him with. Uh, if this game plays, I really like Joe Ross. Um, you know, he, he sets up really well to take on Detroit. Uh, they are not as good against right-handed pitchers. You know, their their best hitting options are mostly right-handed. Um, 7.7 on DK, 8.1 on FanDuel. Well, I'm just not talking about prices today. Conley, only 7.5 on DK, and 8.4 on FanDuel. Milwaukee at home, great park. Um, I think Conley has massive upside and a pretty safe floor in this in this matchup. Um, Ross, I think, has, has a safer floor even than Conley, but lower upside, and the weather is just a real concern. Um, so if neither of these guys float your boat, or if you want to pay up a little bit more, um, I do like Tanaka. Uh, he's taken on the Royals, which is not a matchup that I particularly like to, to go after, but Vegas has them pretty low in run total. And the, the real concern is that they don't strike out much. I think it was like a 19% strikeout rate that I was looking at, which is not at all good. I mean, the, the Padres that Lester gets have a 30% strikeout rate. Um... So there's, you know, there's definitely some risk there. And I'm not normally a guy who likes Tanaka, but I do today. Um, I don't know if that's bad or good, but uh, he's definitely not one of my safer options. I'd pick one of the three above, weather permitting. But um, I want to throw out a couple more options today than normal because a lot of these might get rained out. Because I love the games that, are, that have weather concerns. <sighs> Let's get on to the batters, though. We've got Coors Field in play again today, um, so obviously that's a top target. Um, I don't know how the how the ownership is going to play out today, because there's a lot of options that I feel are kind of chalky in the sense of obviously really strong plays, uh, but 
also kind of a bunch of people went off yesterday. I mean, Boston went crazy. Um, you know, Arizona went crazy on the Rockies. Um, just just a number of different different scenarios that, that will lead to recency bias. I'm not sure how that's going to play out. Let's talk about catchers, though, because that's a fairly easy one. I want a guy at Coors Field today. Uh, Tony Walters, 2.6 on DK versus Ruby De La Rosa, who is not good versus left-handed hitters, which Tony Walters is. Um, 2.6 on DK, giving him away, and you need to save on DK because a lot of the other bats are priced up. Uh, he's 3.3 on FanDuel, so not such a wonderful bargain, but you probably don't need to save as much there. Um, Wellington Castillo, it was interesting yesterday, they put both Herman and Castillo in the lineup. They stuck Herman in the outfield, um, which I was very glad of. He's he's a great hitter. He had an RBI triple, was one of my better scorers. Um, I don't think they'll do that today against the left-hander, since Herman is also left-handed. And I definitely think Castillo will be in the lineup versus Rusin. Um, he's really expensive on DK at 4.7. I don't know how you're, you'd fit him in without really going cheap on your pitching, which I don't recommend. Uh, 4.1 on FanDuel, much more reasonable. You might be able to fit him with the general cheaper prices of bats there. Um, or if you need to save on FanDuel, I like Steven Vogt against O'Sullivan. Uh, he's 3.6 on DK and only 2.6 on FanDuel. Much better bargain there. I'd, on DK, I'd rather just go to Walters or if I'm going to pay up, go all the way up to Castillo. The Rockies let me down last night at first base. I really expected Ben Paulson to be in the lineup versus a righty. He was not. That was disappointing. He was a great value, so I had to do a little bit of work to uh, get my lineups back in order, but I do expect him to be in there today. Um, uh, he's, again, Rubby De La Rosa. Rubby. See, his name is spelled Rubby, but it's pronounced Ruby. I like to call him Rubby anyway. Um, not good versus lefties. 3.2 on DK, 2.8 on FanDuel. Kind of an equivalent bargain, but a bargain for sure. Um, Justin Bohr is definitely someone to, to look at, too, uh, against Zach Davies, who's not a great pitcher. Um, Bohr is just kind of absolutely blowing up my, my dong finder model, the, the home run seeking model. Um, so, it, you know, if not, I, I kind of thought yesterday, but no, if not tonight, then definitely in the near future, Boar is going long. Um, hopefully it'll be tonight and you can get him in your lineups. And he's cheap, 3.3 on DK, 3.1 on FanDuel. So if, uh, if Paulson doesn't make the lineup or if whatever, you don't like Ben Paulson, uh, Justin Boar is another good option. If you find yourself wanting to pay up at first base, I don't like anyone better than, than Paul Goldschmidt. Um, he's just a badass uh, going against an average left-handed pitcher in Coors Field. Um, he's appropriately priced at 5.6 on DK, kind of cheap at 4.5 on FanDuel. Um, still kind of hard to fit in with, with good pitching, but if you can, he's a great option. Uh, and then uh, Mark Teixeira is just being given away on FanDuel. 2.7 is down even 100 yeah, he had a shitty game yesterday, too. Yeah, he's been on an extreme cold streak. He's still Mark Teixeira. The Yankees are expected to um, score a bunch of runs. Uh, Chris Medine is not, like, a really threatening guy. Um, and the weather is good there. You don't have to worry about the weather. What, what, a, <laughs> what a novel concept. <laughs> so, uh, especially on FanDuel, if you're looking to save at first base and you don't like Paulson or he doesn't make the lineup, Teixeira, 2.7K. Beautiful. Second base, I really like Tommy La Stella. Um, you know, he's getting a kind of average right-handed pitcher in in Cesar Vargas. Um, so we'll see. We can see how that goes. But he's he's been good. He's been hitting with a lot of power. Um, he's cheap, 3.0 on DK, 2.8 on FanDuel. Um, I think he will go a little bit under owned, probably because of Derek Dietrich who was very highly owned last night and did very well for everybody and will be on everybody's mind. Um, he's still cheap. He's going against Davies, which is really no worse of matchup than, than last night against Peralta. 3.3 on DK, 2.8 on FanDuel, so he's right in that same price window. I think Listella could be a really good pivot off of that. Um, I, I think I like Listella a little bit better than Dietrich personally. Um if this game plays, Odor had a monster game last night. I recommended him yesterday. Hope you played him. Um, I didn't. Womp womp. 
Uh, 4.3 on DK, 4.1 on FanDuel. He's priced up, but he should be. Derek Holland has been giving up lots and lots of runs. Odor is leading off, has been hitting home runs, has been just getting on base. Um, really solid play if you can afford him, and that game plays. But that's one of the scarier weather situations of the day. Uh, da -da, same game, same scary situation. Oh, I, I flipped the pitchers around, too. Odor gets Rodon, who you may have a different opinion on than me, but I actually kind of like to target him. Um, I don't think he's very good. People tell me he's got lots of skill, but I've yet to see it really demonstrated very often. Um, but that keeps people off of, of batters facing him sometimes, and I like to exploit that. But same game, actually facing Derek Holland, is uh, Brett Lowry, and uh, this is purely on FanDuel. It's on DK, he's 4.4, it's just ludicrous. Uh, but on FanDuel, he's 3.1. If that game plays, he's he's another another option to look at there. Um, God, it's, it's so many games that are in, in doubt. Um, Brandon Phillips, again, on FanDuel, 2.9. They just cannot get that price, that guy's price to go up, no matter how many home runs he hits. Uh, Nicasio uh, is pretty good against right-handers, typically, but uh, Phillips also hits well against right-handed pitching. Um, but three of these options are in games that are highly in doubt, which is why I'm giving you so many other options. Um so the last one is, uh, is an option I threw in because the other guys were in doubt. Kipnis uh, versus Davinsky. Uh, Davinsky, I'm not too sure exactly what to think of him. He's, he's flashed some some upside there. He's not a guy that I'd immediately run to go after. Um, and Kipnis is not cheap either. 4.1 on DK, 3.7 on FanDuel. Um, definitely, you know, I've given you a lot of, lot of options. So in my opinion, break it down. La Stella and Dietrich are 1A and 1B, um, and then everybody else. Um, if the Texas game plays, I like Odor. Uh, so focus on those three three guys, and um, if those other games play, there's some definitely pretty pretty interesting options. The third base, I'm going to go back to Coors Field. Um, I don't know what they're going to do in terms of lineup, if uh, Brandon Drury is going to be in the lineup, if Jake Lamb is going to be in the lineup, if both of them are going to be in the lineup like yesterday. I like them both. Uh, Lamb put up a 50-burger on FanDuel yesterday with just a great game without a home run. I, I, did he? I don't remember. He, he did really well. Um, bottom line. And he is still really cheap on FanDuel at 3.4. He's 4.3 on DK, but still not a terrible price. Um, Brandon Drury is also 4.3 on DK, but 3.8 on FanDuel. Um, Lamb is a lefty going against the lefty, so I'm not sure they'll actually put him in the lineup. And I think I like Drury a little bit better, but that's, that's kind of a 1A, 1B situation for me. Um, two guys I really like in the same stupid Texas White Sox game, Frazier, who went crazy with the double dong yesterday. Um, expensive on DK, 4.8. Pretty cheap on FanDuel at 3.9. If that game plays, I definitely like him better than, say, Drury at 3.8. Um, but there's a lot of risk there. Uh, and then Beltra uh, gets Rodon. 4.4 uh, on DK, 3.3 on FanDuel. It, you know, a similar... Um, I, I think that uh, I'd take him, if that game plays, over Lamb, let's say, uh, since the, the prices are similar there. But serious doubts about that game, which is why I'll toss you a third and also bargain option. Chris Coughlin uh, against O'Sullivan. He is uh, 3.4 on DK and just given away at 2.1 on FanDuel. Um, you know, you might notice a theme that FanDuel prices are kind of cheap, and I'm, I'm not liking that. I prefer tighter pricing. Uh, the loose pricing, you know, kind of reduces the skill to it, in my opinion. Um, but that's what we got to work with today, so we do the best we can with that. Speaking of, shortstops. It's never a position I like to fill, but we got to do it. Um, I'm going to go ahead and just say on FanDuel, lock in Segura. 3.7 is way too cheap. He's like 5K on, on DK, but he's also only a second baseman there, not a shortstop. Um, uh, you know, In the Texas game, I like Rollins a lot. Uh, 4.1 on FanDuel, uh, on DK, much nicer, 3.0 on FanDuel. 
Uh, for a DK exclusive play, I like Machado because he's only eligible at shortstop on DK. He's expensive, 4.9, so you're going to have to spend to get him in there. But, um, you know, that's a guy at a position that you normally can't get someone as good as him, um, or at least it's harder to. There is also Trevor Story uh, on the slate um, in Coors Field. You know, he's, he's a lot better against lefties, but that's not to say he's bad against righties. He's just really expensive, 5.3 on DK, 4.5 on FanDuel. Definitely a better option on FanDuel there. Um, now I also, you know, Boston just went nuts yesterday, and I also like Xander Bogarts, um, 4.5 on DK, 4.0 on FanDuel. It, it's really tough to get away without paying up at shortstop on DK. Um there's not a lot that, that I like. I mean, the only, you know, Rollins is sort of a bargain option at 4.1. Um, and then the only other guys also in that game is Elvis Andrus is 3.5. He's 3.1 on FanDuel, so he's, he's out of consideration for me there. Um, so those are the only cheap guys, and they're both in the game that I feel will probably not play. Um, so you might want to just pay up. On FanDuel, just suck it up, or on DraftKings, suck it up and pay up at shortstop. FanDuel, you got tons of options, but I say hit that button on Segura and move on to outfield. So in the outfield, Coors Field. <laughs> um, seriously, though, you know, it's it's a great place to, to start looking. The question then becomes who? Um, luckily, FanDuel makes it really easy for us. Uh, Carlos Gonzalez is still only 3.9 there. He is 4.7 on FanDuel. Love him. Rubby is terrible against uh, lefties. Ruby, Rubby. I er, don't like him. Um, it's <laughs> and then also, uh, Tomas, if you feel like going on the Arizona side of things. Uh, Yasmani Tomas, 3.9 as well. Also, um, th 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 4.7 on, on DK, so same price on both sites. Definitely like them both on, on FanDuel. A little iffier about them on, on DK. On DK, I might opt to go with Para. Um, he's only 4.3, and he's 4.1 on FanDuel, so not as attractive there. Um, but he's definitely another, another way to get some exposure to that. And if you're fitting in any of these expensive guys, you're going to need some bargains. And I like Preston Tucker against Trevor Bauer. Uh, who's not been particularly good of late. Uh, Preston Tucker's only 2.9 on DK and a bare minimum 2.0 on FanDuel. Um, easy, easy place to save some money. I, I like him a lot as a salary-saving option if you need it. Um, also on FanDuel as a salary-saving option, Adam Jones. I mentioned him yesterday and then the game didn't play. He gets Berrios. Um, I think his price is down even a little bit since yesterday. He's 2.3 on FanDuel. He's 3.6 on DK. So you can do better than, than that, you know. Um, I like Preston Tucker at 2.9, better than Jones at 3.6. Uh, and then if the game plays, my man Adam Duvall has been going nuts lately. Um, Nicasio is, is prone to, to blow-ups. Uh, he's 3.8 on DK, 3.4 on FanDuel, so definitely the same kind of value on both sites. Um, more of an upside guy, I think, than, than the safer options, like in Coors Field. Um, you know, I would I'd go Coors before there, especially with the game being in doubt. Um, and then one last name I'll throw out at, at you, just because everything is so expensive on DK. You might want to just put Chris Bryant in there in the outfield. He's third base and outfield eligible. I mean, we know that he's a badass. Uh, we know that Vargas that he's going against is not particularly a badass. Um, so with, with the limitations on salary, he's 4.7 on DK. So he's the same as like a Carlos Gonzalez or a Yasmani Tomas. Um, it's definitely an interesting pivot from, from those guys, I think. And, and one that, that might even pay off pretty, pretty nicely. Um, you know, Wrigley is not a bad park to hit in either. And Vargas is not proving to be a very good pitcher so far. Um, so it's a good way to take advantage of that DK multi-position eligibility, which I love. I love the flexibility. Anyway, I've talked on enough. This has been... MLB Cash Game Cornerstones for May 10th. 
Um, watch out for the weather. Come on by the Slurve chat, slurve.com. It's free to sign up. We're talking baseball all day. I'll be sharing some of my best picks from the Dong Finder. Um, I can't talk about that model without snickering. I'm, I'm like 12 years old over here. Uh, we'll keep you up to date on the weather situation and uh, update our best plays as things change throughout the day. Once again, I'm Steve Repsold for Slurve. Thanks, guys. Good luck tonight.